there's a new way to draw that no one is talking about. It gets me better and faster results. And in this video, I'm going to show you the hack that I'm using and draw three very different artworks with various materials. Because this hack works with every type of pencil drawing and style, and that's why I'll start with a traditional black and white graphite one. Except these aren't traditional graphite pencils. These are water soluble pencils. And you'll see with each new artwork that I share today how that makes a world of a difference. So first of all, an accurate sketch still is a must for this hack to work to its full potential. And that's why here I took the time to draw this glass. I did it on a hot press watercolor paper, 100% cotton, although this could also work on a high quality drawing paper with some tooth to it. You can use a regular sketching pencil or a 2B or even HB water soluble pencil since they can be erased when we don't press too hard. After finishing the sketch, with a 4B water soluble pencil from this Faber-Castell set, I started coloring to place my mid-tone, if we consider that the light tone will be the paper. And a first huge time saver here is that since these are water soluble pencils, it means that they can be blended with water and because of it, the coloring itself will be a lot faster and a lot less tedious than what we could imagine doing with traditional pencils. Because I still go in small circular motions without pressing too hard, what we would do traditionally, but the lead doesn't need to be super sharp for this and if some white specks of paper are left after coloring, it's absolutely fine. And with water soluble pencils, the strain on our hands is going to be minimal because not sure how it is for you, but I tend to cramp easily with all the back and forth from using graphite pencils and colored pencils. Now watch this. All we need with water soluble pencils is to have one or two watercolor paintbrushes, a jar of water, and a paper towel. The blending is really fast, and what I love about this tool, the water soluble pencil, is that it turns into a smooth wash of paint. I find it's incredibly fast and easy to do, and it also dries fast because water soluble pencils don't require much water to be blended, unlike watercolors. So this is how I completed the base layer for this realistic glass. And instead of having to waste time adding a bunch of layers, I jumped straight over to the 8B pencil from my set to place the dark tone this time. And here again, I colored really fast without having to be cautious or very precise, knowing that these pencils are still as easy to sharpen as regular ones when you need more precision for these final lines. And check out what happened when I added the water. All of a sudden, the intensity increased tremendously, and that is because water soluble pencils tend to look better once you activate the pigment with water, especially if they're a good quality, which is the case here. So with this first artwork, you can see already how fast and smooth the drawing can become with water soluble pencils, and by the way, this could totally pass for a regular graphite drawing. Now, if you've tried drawing a realistic landscape with traditional pencils, you know how long this might take and how tedious it might be, unless you're to use a water-soluble kind. And this time I decided to use watercolor pencils. They resemble colored pencils a whole lot, with plenty of added benefits that few people know about. I decided to paint a mountain peak on cold pressed watercolor paper this time, which is why the tooth here is a bit more pronounced than before. And the benefit from this paper is that it will retain water really well. And you're going to see why this is very important when you want to draw landscapes. Because here I needed to create this soft misty look and what's better than watercolor in the form of a pencil to achieve this effect in literally seconds. I used a palette to swatch my pencils and use them like watercolor paint. This enabled a very smooth and dreamy base layer that I feel would have been impossible to get with regular pencils, especially in such a short amount of time. It's also probably why colored pencil landscapes are so rarely seen. I think they are too technical to achieve. The paper here really helped with this smooth and even result, so think about that when you go for a landscape. 
I kept on adding to the smooth base with more layers and my watercolor painting technique. An awesome benefit of using pencils like watercolor is the ability to create several tones from just one color really easily. And we do that by pulling or softening the existing color that we just applied on the paper with a wet paintbrush to create a lighter version of that color. Now, these are pencils first, not watercolor. And I want to show you a powerful way to use them in their pencil form to create amazing details and texture to a drawing that only they can achieve. But first, let me introduce today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is a supporting online learning community, and whether you're looking for ways to up-level in your career or explore a new skill, Skillshare has a class for you. Social media, productivity, illustration, fine art, and more. I learned art on Skillshare back in 2018, and it helped me grow my skills and confidence so much that I decided to become a teacher a couple of years later. And now I have over 20 realistic art classes in watercolor pencils, watercolor, and even oil pastels. And this one in particular will teach you all you need to know about water suitable pencils. There are plenty of other drawing and painting classes that you can take. For example, this Learn to Draw class by Gabrielle Brickley. After completing a class, members can choose to share their class projects directly with the teacher and the community in a very safe environment, which is something else I love about Skillshare. And the first 500 people to use my link will receive a one month free trial to Skillshare. So if you'd like to join, head on over to the description of the video to find it. And thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our painting. To add detail to a landscape, it makes sense to color like this and then activate the paint like that. But if you want to add something extra, and these mountains are a perfect example, you can wet your pencil lead first and then hold it sideways, almost parallel to the sheet, to deposit clumps of damp pigment. These additions will give your art a lot of texture and they also make for great touches of color. They really stand out and the outcome looks absolutely gorgeous. So let me know what you think in the comments because I was really happy with this piece. If you still doubt that you can use this hack to draw absolutely anything, I want to show you how I leverage these water soluble pencils to create portrait art and show you what possibilities you have with that. And I used the ink-based Inktense pencils this time. They're very similar to watercolor pencils, but just much more vibrant if you like that look. I went with this page from the Coloriage Wild 2 coloring book because I wanted to show you that you can use these pencils on regular drawing paper too. And it's actually much better if the paper is a bit thick and not too silky smooth either. But you can also achieve super realistic artworks on watercolor paper like this one. And yes, that is just watercolor pencil, nothing else. The key on the regular coloring or drawing paper is to avoid using a lot of water or working in too many layers. You can see that I leveraged the swatch technique again to paint a smooth background quickly. And I also added salt because that is something that we can do with watercolor painting to create an impression of snowflakes or just cool texture. And that's one of the things I love about water symbol pencils is that you can really mix and match pencil and watercolor techniques. And then I used the pencils directly to color. And in this particular artwork, I leveraged the tip of the pencils for fine detail, but I also used other materials in combination to them, like this white gel pen for crisp highlights. And of course, you can also use other water suitable pencils to burnish your art and not blend them with water. You can just leave them as such, or you can use a white colored pencil to make some parts of it lighter, or even why not, you can use pastel pencils. There's really a lot that you can do with water suitable pencils. They can even teach you how to watercolor paint and the basics in a way that might feel more comfortable to you. So if you want to learn more about them, you can start with this video here. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.